Um, the important thing to know about class inheritance in a nutshell is that if you have a base class, okay, and it's got protected members or public members, you know, be they functions or variables, those can be inherited, you know, by derived classes, like you see here, and it uses this notation. Um, now, you know, uh, so a, a derived class, though, can have its own functions, as well as, you know, having full access to the public and protected members of the base class. Now, if it was a private member or function you had in here, that would not be inherited. Um, and this means that it's, this does not mean that it's going to inherit the public uh, methods in, of the base class, what it means, uh, or members of the base class, what it means is, is that it will make the private and public methods public and private, it will make the protected and public members of the base class the same over here, public and protected. Uh, but I could say protected, so it make all the members protected. Uh, or I could say private, and it would make everything it inherits private. But it has nothing to do with what it inherits, but it has everything to do with how it's treated in the base class. Because, you know, if you'll notice, you know, while we're inheriting these uh, uh, methods, or methods of, you know, members and methods and so forth, um, you know, methods and properties from the base class, we don't actually have them listed here, you know, so you don't really know what form they're in. Well, this tells you what form they're in. It says it's going to match the form of the base class. So, in other words, you know, protected members will be protected here, and public members will be publicly available in this derived class. But if I were to put protected, well, then everything would be protected, so none of this would be publicly accessible. Um, you know, or if I hit private, well, then not only would none of this be publicly accessible, uh, none of the public or protected member me uh, members that it, it inherited would be accessible by the public, um, but further derived classes wouldn't be able to access it either. So, like, for example, in this triangle, we actually, um, you know, have to find another class called double triangle, which inherits triangles, properties, and methods. But, you know, again, it's just treating, you know, the methods that are public in triangle are also going to be public here. So, but, um, you know, but we do add some new functionalities, and I'm showing that, you know, we can inherit... Um, you know, um, certain data members and, and also access, you know, the uh, functions, because right here, you know, we have an, an area function defined here, right? Okay, well, in the class triangle, um, we also have an area function. So, and it does, you know, this double triangle tries to inherit that area function, but since it has its own area function defined with the exact same parameters, um, what it'll do is this function will override that function, but yet we can still access the, 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 the triangle function from the, um, the triangle's area function like this using the scope resolution operator. So, you know, but at any rate, that's the key thing to remember is that, you know, when you're deriving classes, they basically inherit all the protected and public members, um, you know, as long as you keep it simple. Um, and if, I mean, as long as you keep it simple, they'll be private and public when you, when you inherit them, but they're all accessible. Um, the only things that aren't accessible are anything that is declared as private. <coughs> so but you can define your own methods on top of that, and you can even override methods from the base class that you're inheriting from, like I did here. Um, yet this still, you know, this function here not only inherits the methods from, or the, God damn it, the members of the triangle class,
but it also inherits the members of the base polygon class that this is derived from. So this is the third level or third generation of inheritance, but um, it will, you know, have all the methods and um, members of, you know, the um, the base class polygon. 